Hey, if you do any shopping at Sam's and stuff, do I have some information for you? Now, we're not going to be talking about really shortages today, but the shortages are going to be coming from what I've been told from a Sam's warehouse manager. Now, I deliver to this Sam's all the time, and I'm sure that this is also happening at the other big box retailers also like Costco and BJ's and all those different types of places. You see what takes place is folks. So you get a little bit of understanding. Now I've been going in there and delivering for years, but I mean this particular Sam's when I go in there for the last week or so, there has been hardly anything in the back room and their little warehouse storage area, which is a pretty good size. It's really high because they stack the skids six, seven high. Now, I went in there on Friday, I walked in, and there was nowhere to go. Um, the place was crammed full, and I asked the shipping and receiving manager, hey, you know, what is going on, man? I mean, it's been empty back here. What is taking place is a lot of the products and stuff that they had pre-ordered last year before the whole container ship cabacle took place, you know, and everybody was getting shortages and stuff is setting out at sea for months on end and everything else. A lot of that product is finally starting to make it to the stores. So you're going to be able to find just about anything that you'd like in some of these big box stores like Costco, Sam's and BJ's because they got a lot of stuff in. Now, what is the problem with this? As he said, a lot of this product they try canceling because it's been setting for over a year in containers wherever. Whether it been on a ship, sitting in a yard someplace, being trucked across the country, maybe on a train, whatever it may be. Now what they have to do is, if you're going to be shopping at these stores, you might want to watch for your dates and you're also going to see some probably maybe some good sales because he said a lot of this product they can't sell at the regular price. They're going to have to bring the price down to move it as quickly as possible because now it is already over a year that it's been setting in these containers. So this is going to be a huge problem. And what they're doing is, is like with Sam's, they don't have like a big warehouse where they just store all this stuff. And if you need something, then they, they ship it to you. When you place the order, when it comes into these warehouses and they unload these containers or trucks or whatever else, when they scan the skid, because everything comes as, you know, a full skid. So you're getting, you know, a whole skid of, of this product or this product. And, and that's how it works. When they scan it, it goes into the trailer that's going to that particular store and you have to store it somewhere. That's why if you go into Sam's, you notice they have all the big racks and stuff inside the store and they stack stuff up in there because that's what they do. They don't have a warehouse to hold stuff. They have a warehouse to sort things and get it back out to the regular stores that have ordered those products. What does this mean for me and you? What this means is folks is you're going to start seeing a lot of stuff that's going to be on the shelves. They're going to have an overabundance of supplies. And they're going to have to bring the prices down because they need to move this product because it has been around for a long time. Not normal like before COVID when they would place an order, boom, it would come in. They could put it out, charge a regular price for it. Some of this stuff, like I said, has been sitting around somewhere out there in La La Land for over a year. So you may want to just make sure that you're paying close attention to your dates and products and everything else or whatever you may be purchasing because this is what is being taken place. And to the downside of this, they're being told they're getting all this product and everything else that has been coming in off these container ships and they're finally catching up, all right? Because as I keep saying, folks, the end of the line is the end of the line. There's not a lot of stuff that's coming over on these container ships. These container ships are coming over here. They're half empty because China's still under a lockdown because of uh, COVID and everything else. And that's affecting everything. It's a ripple effect. 
and it's only going to get worse towards the end of the year because all these products are going to start running out and once they run out they don't know when they're going to be replaced so he told me as these trucks are rolling in and they got to make room for them everywhere and everything else eventually it's going to go back to where there's nothing in the back room once again and they're not going to have products on the shelves so take advantage of this situation that these retailers are in because they're going to have to mark these prices down in these big box stores like I was talking about, like Sam's, Costco, BJ's. They all do the same thing. They all run on the same principle of how they move, sort, and everything else. So start looking for some deals, especially with everything that's going on with inflation and everything else. If you can find a good deal and the dates are still pretty good, you might want to think about checking those out and buying some of those products. Take advantage of their bad situation. For once, we might get a little break if you can score some of these deals. So start keeping your eyes out in all your local big box stores, folks, because it might just come up and save you some money before the next shortages hit. And maybe you can have some supplies put away for you and your family. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.